back with our second game of 8th edition now. We're going to play again, it's sort of a modified uh, set of rules that we're going for again. We're going to play only war. I suppose it would fall under the bracket of uh, narrative play. We're playing power levels. We're going to give this a try. We're not doing points this time. We're going to give this new power rating uh, system a go. So both armies are going to have a 100 power rating. And... Uh, we're going to play the only war mission again. We've rolled on the table. We've ended up with uh, Slain Secure, which is going to be four objectives. And they'll be worth uh, two victory points at the end of the game. And if you kill the Warlord, there's D3 points for that as well. So we are playing uh, Dawn of War again. Uh, so we've got Long Side over there. That's where the Orcs will be playing from. And Death Watch will be on this side. So the objectives will be represented by these bomb piles. So the orcs are coming back for all of their gubbins that they might have forgot about, left here, who knows. The Death Watch might have wrangled them all up, but the orcs are back for them. So this is a pile here. We've got another pile there. Another pile there. And then the last one is a comms relay. So that's a strategic point on the map as well. So as I said, we're two victory points at the end of the game. And we'll be using additional rules as well. We're going to go for the city fight rules I found in the book. We're going to add that on to the game that we've just talked about. Uh, so what it means is what we're going to do, just to keep it simple, is all bits of terrain on the board are going to count as ruins. So uh, Cities of Death gives you the ability to uh, have intervening terrain and get cover from it. So that's why we're using it in such a built-up city. just feels right for this uh, sort of game. Uh, also, there's extra rules. If you stay still in cover and you don't move, you get a plus two to your cover save. And there's also additional rules for grenades, but we'll uh, we'll cover that in at the time. And if you stay on the road entirely on your movement phase, you get an extra two inches to your movement. So those are just side rules, but basically the cover rules is the one that makes this one so important for City Fight. So we're going to go with that. We're not going to be using any of the stratagems from City Fight. We're just going to use the rules. Right, so this is 100 uh, power level points of Death Watch. Uh, it is a bound army. We're using the battalion detachment, so we've got our two HQs and uh, three troops. So we'll go through that. We've got Artemis. He's the Warlord. He's going to have the legendary fighter Warlord traits. He's going to get plus one to his attacks when he charges. Uh, second HQ, we've got the Librarian. He's going to have the first two psychic powers off the chart. Uh, something about a veil of time and then uh, the might of heroes that's the other one i think uh, we've got three troops so we've got a squad of veterans here death watch veterans these have got uh, heavy bolters as you can see a uh, sergeant he's just got the bolter got another squad here um big mixture of, of stuff going around everything here we've got a terminator he's got the fist with a melty gun and a flamer jump pack with lightning claws we've got frag cannon two melter, uh, combi melters even, uh, a black shield with a power fist and the sergeant is the dark angel with a plasma pistol power sword. Uh, this squad is, is probably, the, well it is the biggest out of all of them. I've got a bike with a power sword, two terminators with chain fists and assault cannons. I've got two vanguard veterans with, as you see, the storm shield and power maul. And then we've got five uh, veterans. There are two bolt guns in there and there's another two with power swords and bolt guns. We've got an Infernus Bolter in there as well. And the last one, another bike, two shotguns, uh, two bolt guns and power swords and another frag cannon. Uh, so, finally the rules are really good for the Death Watch. Uh, if you've got a bike in the squad, you can fall back from combat and shoot. If you've got a jump pack in the squad, you can fall back from combat and charge again. So if you've got uh, two in the same squad, you basically can drop back from combat with no penalty. So it's really, really good now, the Death Watch. Especially now you can split fire. Uh, it's, it's really effective now. They can cover all, all sorts of targets. Uh, if you've got a Terminator in the squad, you don't have to take morale checks either. So everyone's doing something, and that's really good. Another nice little bonus to have this time, if you've got a bike in your army, you can take a, a teleport homer, so we've taken two. And this basically means if you've got a terminator in your squad, you can bounce back to where your teleport homer is. Uh, and we've got 
some vehicles here. So we've got Corvus Blackstar, these are really good now. Uh, we've got all the trimmings, we've got the Halo Launcher for defence on the top there. We've got the Hurricane Bolters, we've got twin linked, or a twin last cannon as it's called. Uh, Storm Strike missiles under the wings. This one, largely the same, but it's got a twin assault cannon and a Black Star missile launcher underneath the wings. So these are very good now, these vehicles. And in the middle is a star, it's the Venerable Dreadnought, twin Laz cannon, power fist with a flamer underneath, so he is a star him. This is a 100 power level Orc Army, it's a battalion detachment. We have uh, two headquarters units here, we've got the war boss, and he has a power claw, combi scorcher, tax squig, and the weird boy, the weird boy has um, smite along with um, dad jump, the dad jump allows you to uh, move, uh, remove your model or, or the unit from the uh, table and replace it within nine inches of an enemy unit, so it's a pretty handy thing to have. Um, then we've got the heavy section here, we've got the, uh, the, the Morkonaut as a uh, custom um, force field on the top there. We've got two mech guns, they are the uh, plasma variety. And then we have uh, some elites here, we've got the um, mega knobs, they have kill saws. And next to the Mega Nobs, a Pain Boy, also with a cane saw, kill saw, and the early syringe, docked tools, and a quite orderly. And we've got uh, Fast Attack, we've got five coppers there with uh, copter rockets, coupled with buzz saws, they all have big bombs. We've got a big unit of 30 orcs, Slugger Boys, three have rockets, and the Nob has a power claw. And we've got three units of ten shooter boys. Each shooter boy unit has a big shooter and this red trousered unit is riding in the truck. The, right, so the York boss there, he's a legendary fighter. That's his warlord trick. Gives him plus one attack. Okay, both armies are down now. Orcs deploy unit first and then Death Watch have to deploy unit first and then ping pongs back and forth until all the units are down, so that's what's happened. And of course flyers start on the table. Feels a bit weird, but it looks cool. So uh, what we've got is heavy bolters in this terrain piece here. So of course if they're shooting down onto people they can uh, ignore their cover. But the big unit of Death Watch in the middle being bolstered by Artemis, he can Give them re-rolls of one in his six inch radius. We have the uh, venerable dreadnought, he's got a good line of sight. Corpus Blackstar, this is the uh, assault cannon version. And we've got another unit of Death Watch here with the bike and then we've got another Corpus here and inside this is the Malta Guns and Terminator combo. So where we've put our teleport homers is crucial, we've got one here and the other teleport homer is here. So the big, big tactical moves for the Death Watch, those teleport homers. And for the Orcs, we've got copters on this side. They can start off the board, but they've chosen to deploy the tackle flies as soon as they can. Got the Weird Boy and 10 Shooter Boys in this truck. And there's the uh, Morganaut, he's looking on, providing his uh, custom force field. Got another 10 man mob there. We've got the mech guns here with the uh, custom blasters, custom cannon blasters or whatever they're called. Dangerous, that's the that's the end result and they've got their sights trained on the big mob of Death Watch. Could be horrendous. Another unit of shooter boys here and then a massive posse of orcs here. So we've got the war boss keeping them in line and a pain boy as well so they're going to be quite robust. So they're going to look to flood onto the objectives in the mid ground and on the right of the orc side looks like it's going to be a big swing in to the from the right uh, to claim this one. Uh, so it's worth noting as well the mega knobs, three of them are in the belly of the beast in the mortar knob.
okay, Ox turn one, they were the underdog, so they chose to go first. Uh, the the point score is, or the points rating for the Death Watch is 100, for the Orcs it's 99, so they've just pipped that by one point, and it's crucial, always crucial, having the Orcs uh, have the first turn, doesn't matter what edition you're playing, it's always the same, Orcs want to go first. So here's what's happened, the Orcs have gone forward and advanced, rolled a 6, so they've gone 11 inches, so they're right up uh, to that piece of terrain there. They're gonna, there's three rockets in this squad, and they're going to have a go at the Death Watch, I think. Uh, shooters as well, at long range. Or some of them at least. They're staying put. And then here, it's a different scene. Gautenauts and Mortenauts, they can now move 8 inches. And they can basically live forever. They're really tough now. So he's making his way down the street. It's looking very scary. Got Orc Boys back there as well. Benefiting from the Custom Force Field. The truck is on its way with the uh, Psyker in it. Or the Weird Boy. And the coppers go forward. So we originally thought these were going to give the Corvus Black Stars some real stick. But uh, these have got the fly keyword. So what that means is this infirm launcher gets a further minus one to hit for these coppers. So it's hard to hit is a basic rule. So it's minus one. And then further minus one because of the infirm halo launcher. So these actually need to hit on a seven plus, which is impossible. So actually they can't hurt this just by default. But the will shoot those rockets at this squad over here so these with the rockets on are absolutely vicious we can see that coming here it's going to be absolutely nasty so the death watch uh going to come under some firepower here the orcs are much faster than they used to be and they were fast beforehand and they are tougher than they used to be so it's looking very very dangerous for the death watch it's worth noting as well that these copters now have four wounds so that is very very scary Right, so the Orcs are going to open up with this truck. So there's two big shooters. There's one on the truck, one on board. And there's a lot of shooters on board as well. Because it's open top, you can still fire from your vehicle. And they're going to have a go at this Death Watch squad here. So this is going to be nasty. Blue dice are the big shooters. So hitting on fives. And that is a very, very orky roll. Loads of fives in there. All right, so two hits from the big shooter there, nine from just the regular shooters. So that's way above average for the Orcs. They're really uh, feeling alive here. So wounding on fours against the Death Watch here is going to be nasty. Okay, not impressive on the roll. It's about average. All right, six saves to be made for the Death Watch here. Uh, every Death Watch guy who goes down is a tear in my eye because they're really crucial. All right, so we're going to do the first one on uh, on the shotgun guy he's dead second shotgun he's alive I uh, gotta keep on going on the shotgun guy he's alive he's dead right next wound we're gonna put on uh, hmm got to put it on this guy with a power sword he's dead it's not good. And then the last wound, we're going to put it on the veteran sergeant. And he survives. Right, so we've lost three Death Watch guys to just shooters. So you can imagine how I'm feeling here. <laughs> right, now the, the copters, because they can't shoot this because of the minus, uh, well, the 7 plus to hit after all the maths. They're going to choose to put the shots on that Death Watch squad. He's already took a bit of a hammering. So this is 10 shots hitting on fives. Because these are assault weapons, these copter rockets, so there's three. And the strength eight, so the wounding on twos. So there's two already, and a third one converts. So we're going to have to take these on uh, the veteran sergeant. So it's a minus two to his armor save, so he's saving on five. He survives the first one, kills himself on the second one. And we're going to have to take this on the on the bike here because we can't afford to lose the frag cannon. Nope, he's going to take a flat three damage because these rockets are absolutely savage. Three damage, the bike's got two wounds but he's killed instantly and that's the end of him. So there's only the frag cannon left. Really ugly stuff. Right, the last frag cannon, he's coming under more fire. The Gorgonaut has chosen to shoot the double twin big shooter on his shoulder at him. And then all of the weapons will be at the Venerable Dreadnought just here. So, uh, we've already rolled a hit and a wound. He's taken four wounds. He's going to have to save on his armour. 
and he dies unfortunately so that's the full squad there's no first blood in this mission so we don't cough up a point there but we've lost a death watch squad and that is extremely painful okay so the mortar he's going to fire at the venerable dreadnought just here clean line of sight there so he's going to fire what's he firing first the rockets or right so he's doing the uh the mega blaster the first. custom blaster right so he's hitting on a five he misses, right, it's D6 shots out of the cannon version it's on his shoulder. Yeah, make a custom cannon. So he's going to get oh, one shot, one. he's hitting a five, no, he's missed as well. And two rockets. Two rockets now. No hits. All right, so the Dreadnought comes away with uh, his life there. Right, so we've got the, uh, the mech guns, they're firing at the Dreadnought, it's the same cannon weapon, so uh, there's two of them, so it's two D6 shots. So there's going to be five shots pumped out by the mech crew. Uh, these are hitting on fives. Four. Four, sorry, because they've got uh, little Gretchen gunners and they're better. And they certainly are better. That's all hits in there. <laughs> all fours and sixes. Scary stuff. This is strength eight against the Dreadnought. He's toughness seven, so they need threes to wound. Right, there's three wounds. It's dangerous stuff. It's AP minus three, so the Dreadnought uh, is got a six plus save. He saves one of them, two go through, and uh, it's D3 damage on each shot. So that is uh, four bits of damage. All right, so the damage is four, so we've taken four wounds. Because he's a venerable Dreadnought, we can still get a sort of a feel no pain. It's not called that, but it's the similar effect uh, on sixes, so we need sixes here. No, he's going to take those four wounds. Right, this Dreadnought is not out of the woods yet. He's got two rockets to put up with from this Orc squad behind the wall here. And then one of them is out of range, so the other rocket's going to fire at the Death Watch squad. So two rockets at the Dreadnought. There's one hit. There's a fight. Uh, wound number three. There's a wound. Uh, these are only AP2, these rockets. Uh, so, we'll save it on five. Nope, goes through. So it's a flat three damage, so we're going to have to roll uh, sixes again to try and deny those. Right, so we've got an extra bit of two damage and we'll pass one of them, luckily. Alright, so the Venerable Dreadnought only got two wounds left now, and this squad's going to come under a rocket attack here. So it's a hit, another hit for the Orcs, they're not messing around here. Two is the wound, it's a wound. Alright, what we're going to have to do is we're going to select to take this on a storm shield that's why they're there it's AP minus two we can't afford to take it on the terminator because he might be uh, just insta killed they've only got two wounds uh, and the rocket has flat three damage so we're going to take it on a storm shield seven on three saves right okay it's a big shooter survived. and a big shooter at the back there he's got two hits the orcs just keep on hitting here three's the wound there's one wound. We're going to take this on a Terminator now to save on a two. Saves. Good lad. All right, so the Death Watch are going to have to put in a big turn here to uh, try and deal with the Orcs. If we don't put in two good turns, there's a good chance the Orcs are going to roll up to the doorstep of the lines and just kill everyone dead. Has to be a good shooting attack here. So movement. First was the Corvus has moved over these copters and landed here. So the plan is we're going to drop the Corvus launcher on these and then we're going to shoot the rest of the weapons at the Morganaut, see if we can just slow that down. Uh, the other Black Star has flown on, on top of this uh, Sector Imperialis bit and we're going to fire at these mech guns. We need to try and get those out of the way before they start targeting Death Watch units, uh, the infantry rather. We're going to fire the Dracos missiles. Uh, at the copters because we can get a little bit of a better boom there. Dreadnought, he's just hanging on, he's going to return fire at the Dread. And then this unit, Death Watch, did have plans to go out into the open there and try and fight the Orcs, but after seeing what's just happened, they've taken a step back and just, even where we were, we were just here, we don't even want to take a step forward because these Orcs, because the war boss is there, they're going to be able to. Uh, Walk 5, advance whatever they get, they might even use a command reroll for that and then they can, because they've got the war boss behind them they can war so they can even charge and orcs 
can naturally just re-roll charge ranges so it's just not worth it there's a good chance if we did that we might just have the game sewn up in one turn which is what we didn't want to do so they've stepped back a bit cowardly from the death watch but got to survive the librarian he's advanced all the way down to here uh, just castling up as they call it heavy bolters they're staying still in the cover which means if the orcs shoot at them because of the cities of death rules they're going to get a plus two to the cover save but i think they're going to be okay so we're going to go into shooting here see if we can really ramp this up for the death watch and need to put in a good turn right we're going to do psychic phase we're going to do might of heroes the librarian is going to do it onto the dreadnought so it's going to give them what we're looking for is the plus one toughness so it'll make them toughness eight and at least make it 50 50 if he gets hit by any of those strength eight weapons again so we need to pass this on a six and we do not so what we'll do is we'll use a command reroll point because we've got six of them try and make that pass so we do we're going to need all everything going our way and then following turn so he's, he's passed it he's now toughness eight so we'll just go straight into the shooting phase he's a venerable dreadnought he's going to return fire to this dreadnought here so uh, the mortar not even he hits on a two and he's got rerolls of one because artemis is next to him so hitting on two he's hit them both Good chap. Strength 9 against toughness 8 for the Mortonaut. We're needing 3s to wound. So they both go through. Mortonaut has a 5 plus invulnerable save. And he passes 1. Uh, it's going to be d6 damage from this last cannon. Uh, so what I'm going to do, it's a 2. It's not good enough. We're going to re-roll that with a command point. So because it's a different phase, uh, we can use that again because we use the first one in the psychic phase now it's the shooting phase so it's the only attempt we're going to get a re-roll in this phase so we get five at least we got higher so that's five damage on that mortar knot right we're going to go into this corvus here so we've flown over the copters we'll get to use our our black star launcher uh, we'll roll a dice for each model in the squad there's five on a six they take a mortal wound so we're going to take one mortal wound, but these are four wounds each, so it's just a drop in the ocean for them. Right, so the Corvus is going to fire the twin Laz cannon at the Morganaut, see if we can get some hits. So we're hitting on fours with this because we're moved with a heavy weapon. So there's just one hit, leading a three. We get it, and there's an invulnerable save of five to make because of the custom force field. And that goes off the table, and it's a save. Yep, yeah, it's all going the orcs way here. We've got storm strike missiles to fire. So we only get one hit because we've got a minus one to hit for moving with it. Uh, it's strength eight, so that's no good because he's toughness eight, so that just bounces. So we've got the hurricane bolters. We're going to put those at this uh, orc unit here because they're the weakest target in that exchange. Still got an invulnerable five save though. So 12 shots at the hurricane bolters. Uh, these are hitting on threes because they are not heavy weapons this time. So that's pretty good. Fours to wound. Oh, two fall into no man's land. So there's uh, four wounds. Not great. So seven on fives. And two survive, two die. Right, we're going to do this Corvus Black Star twin assault cannon into the mech guns. And we're doing uh, the small arms fire at the mech guns as well, We're only doing the underslung missiles at the uh, flyers in the corner. So here we go, this is the assault cannons at the grots, well it's actually at the mech guns not the grots, so that's cock guy there. Right so because we've moved with this heavy weapon as well, we've got a minus one, so we're almost hitting like orcs, so we're hitting on fours, so that's okay. Uh, mech guns are toughness five, so we're needing threes to win. That's pretty good. There's five wounds. It's a minus one AP. So there's five wounds for the mech guns. Uh, they've got a five plus save, so they can save on sixes. Uh, so there's one save and four wounds, but these do have six wounds apiece. Uh, two left to go. Let's hope we can do it with those hurricane bolters. All right, 12 shots on the hurricane bolters. We are within 12 with the nose. Uh, that's a cock guy there. But we hit with it but again it's a not a particularly impressive roll there only five hits oh dear fives to wound one wound seven on fives not even going to kill it here 
does take a wound but it's not enough to kill it. It's still going to linger on. Alright so from the same black star we're doing uh, the rocket launcher at these we're using covered warheads. Uh, because these have the fly keyword we're going to get a plus one to hit. So we're suffering a minus one to hit because it is a heavy weapon on the move. So we're back where we started on a three. So this is uh, two d6 shots to see how many we get. Uh, that's, that's pretty good. Respectable nine there. All right, so nine shots hitting on three. Uh, it's cocked out. So we'll hit with the lion shots. Eight solid hits. These are strength six, uh, so they'll be winning on threes against the copters. And that is six wounds. So these are AP minus one, and the copters are in cover, just about. So. Oh yeah, they've got an invulnerable five as well, so seven on threes. No, sorry, seven on fours. Six? Yep. All right, so three. there's three wounds, and this one has already taken a wound, so you must take the ones who have already suffered wounds. Uh, so there's one copter dead, so we've killed something. All right, so we're coming down to the closing shots of the Death Watch turn here, and we're going to fire the heavy bolters at the artillery, so only one wound left on one of the pieces, so if we just take one away, that's a lot of firepower gone. And uh, we'll see how this goes. So we've got four heavy bolters firing at them. Uh, Rerolling ones, because Artemis is near. Okay, that's a cocked eye. Alright, so we've hit with a good amount. All but three. Uh, strength five against toughness five, so we're needing fours to wound. Okay, so... That is five wounds on those guns. So the seven on fives, but it's AP minus one. So they're going to need sixes again on five dice. So they failed all of them. So five wounds go through. So it's killed one of the guns, and then the other one has suffered four wounds. Pretty good going. Right, the big squad's now going to fire. We're going to fire the terminators, the assault cannons, at this squad on the right. And all of the weapons, we're going to fire at long range. Actually, so is the heavy bowler. It's going to fire at squad. Uh, all of the small arms weapons are going to fire at the unit of orcs with the shooters. So we're going to pick the Kraken Bolt, which means we get an extra 6-inch range out of our guns with a minus 1 AP. So it can reach that far. So we're going to do the assault cannons first at the unit on the right. The uh, hand, hand orcs. Hitting on 4s because we're moved. So we've missed 1. We're all... Uh, but we'll roll three ones there because Artemis is near. Re roll, again, extra one. Uh, threes to wound with the assault cannon. Oh, just two. So there's two orcs dead. No, from this squad on the right. And we've got the heavy ball there, hitting on fours. Uh, two hits, wound on threes. Another two wounds, so there's another two orcs dead. So the same uh, squad. Same squad, yeah. So they suffered a few casualties. They're not going to take any morale tests because they're 30 strong. And for the orcs, you can actually take how many models you've got in the unit as your leadership. So orcs, uh, not only are they faster now and shoot more shots, they have rock solid leadership. Uh, so we've got two shots out of this bike. So there's two, three, four, five, six, six shots coming at those orc boys. Right, crack and bolts at those boys. That's cocked out. Okay, reroll ones because of Artemis. There's a six, that's good. So two misses, four hits. Wounded on fours. Oops, elusive dice. Oh, nothing. All ones and a two. And then Artemis himself, he's going to fire the same round at the boys. So he's hit on a two, does not wound on a three. So no damage to the shooter boys are looking just to shave off a bit of firepower there. But that's the end of the Death Watch turn. It wasn't a success like I wanted it to be. Like Alright, so the orcs here that did suffer a casualty, so they're gonna to have to take a morale test. So we'll roll one dice and add one, because that's how many they took. So leadership two, they're fine. They do have base leadership six. Right, the mech guns, the same thing. Uh their leadership six as well, so let's see what they get. So Four plus one is five, they pass, no further damage. Right, this squad here, these lost two, so what's their leadership? Uh, 
that's a six. This should pass on a six, I believe. turn two now and the right hand side the big heavy punch now starts to swing round so eight inch move for that Morganaut and the truck is in tow as well and the coppers are coming round I've been told all rockets at the dread wants to see that go uh, this unit of boys they're moving up they're staying out of sight ready to pounce on some uh, objectors when the time comes uh, this artillery piece still looking at the dreadnought down the battlefield there. This unit is ducked back into cover so they can now not be seen. They're looking to probably just claim this objective when the time comes. And then the war boss might have his thinking cap on a bit too tight. He's chosen to go around to the left, so unusual for an orc, they would normally take route one, but he's seen the firepower on the horizon and he's gone around to the left, so they're gonna be not be able to target it from the heavy bolters or the assault cannon, so uh Playing the long game for the of the orcs, which is unusual for an so orc. That's the view from this side. That's why they've moved round, just not a line of sight on them. Not an orc to be seen. Right, so we've got the copters. They're going to fire the rockets at the venerable dread again. So four this time, hitting on fives. Uh, so four shooting and four hits because the assault two weapons. These they don't take any minus one for moving. Really, really powerful weapons, the rockets for the Orcs. So four hits. Uh, usually that would be wounded on a three because of strength eight, but because we played uh, the hero's psychic power last phase, he's now toughness eight. So at least they're needing fours to wound here. So here they go. So there's two wounds, and it's AP minus two. So seven or fives of the Dreadnought here. Please save. Well, he's filled one. That's a cock die. And he's filled the other. Oh dear. He's only got two wounds left. But because he's venerable, we'll get to try and save these on sixes. Going to save nothing short of a miracle. So he saves one, but he's gone now. So he's going to possibly explode. Let's see if he explodes. He's near a lot of stuff. He's not going to explode, luckily. He just dies quietly in humiliation. Right, the Orcs have fired some big shooter shots from over here at the Death Watch. Uh, no dice. All saved or didn't wound, so came through a bit of small arms fire. Uh, the mech gun in the distance, that's going to fire at the heavy bolters upon high. So it's going to get D6 shots, because there's only one of them left now. So how many shots is it going to pump out? Five. That's very respectable. Hitting on fours, because the grots operate in this one. Accurate grots, and accurate they are. So that's four hits, wounded on twos because it's strength eight against these marines. I think we use a command roll for that. Okay, so a command roll in effect to re-roll one of those misses. And missed again. So, so only four hits, so twos to wound against these space marines. Right, there's three wounds, just one, one in there. So uh, it's minus AP three. So these would normally be seven on six, but because we've stayed in cover, we're going to deduct that by two, because that's the benefit of playing uh, Cities of Death. So we're saving on fours for three of these guys, so let's see how well they do. No, nope, two of them die. So what we'll do is we'll take uh, the sergeant, unfortunately, and we'll take a bolter here. So there's only three left. Right, Morganaut's chosen as target, so we've got uh, all of the 36 inch range weapons, which is the big shooters on the top there, and then the custom mega cannon, I think it's called. Going to be at the heavy bolt squad, they're going to try and wipe those out, and then all of the rest of the weapons are going to fire at this Death Watch squad here. Right, so the Morganaut's fired the big shooters, there was 12 shots, uh, lots of hits, but only 4 wounds. 
So we're going to save these on twos because we're in that hardened cover. And we'll save them all. So now it's the big gun, same as the mech gun in the background, it's going to get D6 shots. Oh, Only one. So he's going to have to hit on a four here to cause some damage. And he misses. So the bolt, heavy bolt is there. We've seen what that other one could do, so that is a blessing, seeing that one fail in a spectacular fashion. So, uh, there's now hell to pay for these guys. So there's two rockets. Two rockets, okay, so hitting on fives. So both miss. And then the blaster on the belly, belly blaster, rolls a one, so he's going to take a mortal wound. Because these are sort of like plasma guns, but nastier. Alright, not as powerful as the last time, but still that Dreadnought going down is uh, good work from the Orcs. Uh, two casualties from this squad here. We are Leadership 8 with these veterans, so even if we rolled a 6 for Leadership, uh, we still wouldn't take any casualties. We've passed automatically, so it's good news for the Death Watch for that. So that is the end of the Orc shooting phase. Uh, pretty good. It's not, not, not much more to kill for them. But uh, this unit is going to fight hard because the orcs are now closing in and uh, it's going to have to put in another good turn. Okay, it's turn two for the Death Watch and the moment of truth has arrived. Will they succeed or will they fail miserably? Because we've set everything up in such a way where it either works or it won't. So these Death Watch, they've stretched out in a line. We're going to fire uh, the main target. It will probably be the copters. We'll see how it goes. But we can train some weapons on the on the Gorgonaut, or the Morgonaut, as it's known. Uh, we'll definitely have to take that out to succeed here. So this has gone into hover mode. And we've got the Death Watch out within three inches. Then we've moved six inches, five with the Terminator, of course. Uh, jump pack's moved on, so we've cast our net wide. We might do an assault on the copters if we are able to shoot this dead. So remember, we've got three melter guns there. We've got one here, one there, one on the Terminator, a frag cannon. It's possible. He's still got an invulnerable five save. And then the Corvus might have to chip in as well. We'll need to take that down. And then the other Corvus has flown over here. We're going to fire at these boys, we think, try and uh, snuff out their chances of getting that objective beyond that crate there. So just trying to take out these people who might score objectives, trying to even the score here, trying to get these these unit counts because the Orcs have got much more bodies than the Death Watch. So we're going to try and even the score this turn. Right, so before going to the shooting phase, we're going to do the psychic phase. So we're going to do Smite at this Gorgonaut or the Morgonaut. Right, so Smite is level 5 power, so we're needing a 5 to pass this. And we just get it. We'll count our blessings. We're hoping for an over a 10 there, but... Okay, so that comes off. Uh, we'll just have a look at Deny the Witch rules. Uh, because the warp, uh, the warp head is there in the truck, he is embarked. Although you can fire from open-top trucks, that's the only thing you can do, because uh, you embarked, therefore you cancels everything, unless otherwise noted. And there's only shooting that is otherwise noted. So you'll not be able to deny the witch from there, unfortunately for the orcs. So it goes through. And it's D3 mortal wounds. That's the full three. So he's taken three. He's already got six. So he's up to nine. He's halfway dead. And that means he's taken down a peg on his damage result. So he's slowed down a little bit. And he's possibly less effective. But he's still active. Okay, so we're going to go into shooting phase. We're going to keep up the, uh, the power on this. So we've got three melter guns. One on the power fists of the... Terminator, then two combi melters firing into this Morganaut, hitting on threes. We've missed every single one. This is devastating. What we'll do is we'll reroll with our command stratagem. We've hit, thankfully, with one. That could have been so embarrassing. Wounded on fours. We've wounded. He's got an invulnerable five save. Please don't save this. And he doesn't, so it's going to go through. So melt the guns, give you uh, 2d6 damage and you pick the best. Okay, we'll have the 6 if you don't mind. Right, under the frag cannon. That's going at the back. Uh, hitting on 3s. 
two hits. These are strength nine at this range because it's in really tight. Three is to wound. Okay, there's two wounds. Invulnerable five saves to be made here. One goes through. Right. So Frag Cannon is just straight two damage. I thought it was D3, but so he's hanging on with one uh, wound left. So we've got this plasma pistol and he's firing not on overcharge. So he's hitting on three and it's lucky he did not overcharge that one. All right, so we've already committed our guns elsewhere for these last two. Uh, we've got a bolter here. It's going to fire the, uh, the rounds that wound on a two. The Hellfire round, and this guy's going to throw a grenade into them. So the grenade hits. That's a wound. Uh, seven on a five. So that's a wound. In fact, it's D3 damage, a grenade. Three damage, that's pretty good. That's an excellent work from that grenade. And then we've got the uh, Hellfire round from the Black Shield. And that's a cock die, but he's missed one. But he's hit. Wounds on two. He's wounded, he's going to have to save on a 4, that's his armour save. Okay, there's the last wound stripped, so we've actually got a copter, so everyone dead is uh, a blessing. Right, we well, were going to fire these heavy bolters at the mech guns, but since this Morganaut is on his last wound, we're going to try and believe in the bolter. So here we go, we've got three heavy bolters. That's a really good start, only one miss there. Artemis is no longer within range to reroll those ones but that was good shooting so uh, strength 5 against toughness 8 in 8th edition we're needing 5s and that's, that's a good thing oh look at that 3 5s and it's minus 1 AP so the Morganaut has a save of 3 but he's down to 4 now to pass these so he's going to have to save them or he's dead come on you can do it yes, he he's can. done it now <laughs> Just bounce off. Uh, what are we going to do about this? Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Jeff. Okay, there's just one more uh, wound to take off that, so we're going to put this to the assault cannon. So double assault cannons are going to fire at them. They have stayed still this turn, so they'll be hitting on threes. Uh, all of the weapons, including the heavy bolter, and we're going to fire uh, hellfire rounds from all the bolters at the copters. So let's do the big ones first. So we've got assault cannons uh, that are within 24 inch range, we did measure. Uh, six shots each, so 12 shots, hitting on threes, re-rolling ones because Artemis is uh, telling us so. Here we go then. No ones to re-roll, lots of twos. Right, so tense. Wounding on fives again. That's good, it's good. We've got four. It's gonna to have to save them on fours again. Surely this is the time. So four dice needing fours or else he, he goes down. Oh almost, almost. He's gone down on a six he explodes. No, no explosion, that is very good news. Although he might take a few boys with him, the death watch are more important. Right, there we are, the Mega Nobs have had to get out. It's good that we reserved our Corvus Black Star firepower because they are now probably going to be the targets because they are lethal, those Mega Nobs. Uh, but we still haven't finished shooting with these, so we've still got the Heavy Bolter and then we've got eight shots of Hellfire rounds because the bike is within rapid fire and he's got a double bolt gun these days. So eight shots at these copters. And we'll reroll ones because of Artemis, that wasn't great. Right, we've missed three times. We've got five hits. So these wound on twos, such a great round. But there's only three wounds there. You need to save on fours. So just one wound. And then we've got the heavy ball there. So he did stand still. And he rerolls ones because of Artemis. And uh, strength five against toughness five. You need fours. Just one, seven on a five this time, and save. So just one wound. Copter's proven the durable. Right, more firepower from the Death Watch. It's going well so far. Uh, we've got the Hurricane Bolters. They're going to rapid fire from the wing at uh, these boys here. And then the rest of the guns, we've got a Twin Last Cannon and the Stormstrike Missiles. They're going at the Mega Nobs. 
to the bauntlets first. Uh, hitting on threes. Seen bad, but it's okay. Wounded on fours. That is good. So there's uh, six. Six to save on sixes. So, mm, five dead. Big, does it. big casualties on the orcs there. All right now, it's the big one. So we've got the las cannons and the storm strike missiles at the knobs. So the uh, las cannons hitting on threes did still only one hit, two to wound. We do wound. Is there any save for a mega knob? Right, las cannons AP minus three knob save on a two. So they're going to have to save on a six. Oh, on a five, five. sorry. And they do. That's Pretty Pretty <laughs> quite good from them and then we've got the storm strike missiles we're only hit with one again uh, wound on two there's a wound these are AP3 as well I think let's have a look AP minus three yeah so five save again note this one goes through reroll that one command roll okay command point in effect how many damage is it it is D no, it's just a straight three damage, so this will kill a, a knob outright if you don't pass. Oh, and that, <laughs> it's standing it's the most on spectacular end. cock dice I've ever seen. Yay! Well, that's cocked. Go on. Nope, the knob goes down. Right, one of the final bit of firepower for this turn for the Death Watch. It's been very good so far. Uh, we flew over this orc squad with the cover so again we'll get to use our uh, black star bomb so there's 10 in there or is there did you suffer any casualties one two three four five six seven. no there's still 10 so you roll a dice for each guy on a six it's a mortal wound so just one six so we just one orc dead there and we've already committed our guns we're firing all the guns at these orcs except the twin uh, assault cannon we'll go at this mech gun we want to try and deal with this mech gun before it has a chance to fire again. It's uh, it's taken four wounds, so it's only got two left, I think. How many wounds has an assault cannon uh, the mech gun got? Mm, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, we'll see what we'll get on this twin assault cannon. So it's hitting on fours, because we did move with a heavy weapon. Uh, that's still looking okay. We've got five, five hits. It's strength six against toughness five, leading threes. That's very good. So we've hit them all. This has only got a five plus save these days, so you've got five wounds to save on sixes. And these cannot be taken on the crew. So that is the mech gun gone, and I don't think there's any overspill into the Gretchen crew. All right, so just have a look at the rules for the mech guns. Uh, the act is two different units, so I targeted the mech gun, so that is killed. Uh, but the grots, they're fine. No overspill because they're counted as a separate unit. It's very weird rules, but... Uh, it works, I think. So we've got all of the weapons at these orcs now. There's a hurricane bolter, and then we've got the Corvus launcher. We're going to do uh, the Dracos warhead. So we're going to get eight shots out of this one, which is good. Hitting on fours because it's a heavy weapon on the moon. So we've hit three times, and it's only strength four. So there's two wounds, seven on sixes, because there's no AP, I don't think. So one saves, one goes down. So we've got the Hurricane Bolters up next. All right, here we go, Hurricane Bolters. Hitting on threes. Always nice to fire a lot of shots. Wound on fours. All right, there's four wounds. Seven on sixes for these orcs. And three go down. So one saves though. Right, so that's the end of the shooting phase. Uh, the orcs took a big hit there. And possibly might even continue to take big hits when the morale phase comes in. Uh, but we're going to do our first assault. So we've got this unit of Death Watch are going to assault the uh, Mega Knobs. They don't have any guns so they're not going to be able to overwatch. So uh, that's a formality. Double six. That's a very nice. So we're going to just pile in on these Mega Knobs. Right, here we are in the combat then. Uh, we've got our black shield in the fray as well. 
Uh, actually, it's worth mentioning that the Orcs did overwatch the through one stick bomb, but no damage. Uh, so they do have a way of putting up with a little bit of a charge, but no hits. So we've got the Black Shield. We're going to fight with him first. So Black Shields have three attacks. He's got a Power Fist. So he'd be hitting on threes normally, uh, but Power Fist is a minus one. So he's going to need fours to make sure he gets it here. So he's only got one. Shall we use a command reroll? Yes, we shall. Because we need as many hits on these uh, power fists as we can. So he's missed again, unfortunately. So only one. Wound him on a two and we've rolled a one. So no damage from the black shield. That is very disappointing. We've got another power fist from the Terminator. He's hit once. We need this to wound. It does wound on a two. So it's strength eight. Uh, it's AP minus three, so you get a save of five. With the magnet. No, that goes through. So D3 damage with the power fist. Only one damage. No. This could turn out to be a mistake. So, right, we've got a power sword sergeant, so he's got three attacks. And he's hit twice. And he's needing fours. So that's a cocked eye. So we've got one wound. It's AP minus three, so it's a save of five again. And there's another wound. So we might end up killing one here. We've got a Vanguard veteran with lightning claws. He's got three attacks and he's missed them all. No. Uh, right, we've got basic attacks now. We've got uh, this guy's got a close combat weapon, so therefore he's got three attacks, as have these. So three attacks each, that's nine attacks. This is going to be hard work to get that last wound on that mega knob so we're hitting on threes okay that's good so far very good fours to wound right there's four wounds and he's going to have to save them on twos so this, this went wrong unless he fails one he has failed one so that's a knob brought down he's going to only be able to fight with one left Right, there's one Mega Knob left. Uh, we've piled in and surrounded him, so he will fight with four attacks. Hitting on fours, there's two hits. So he's wounding on twos now, because he's strength eight. And he wounds once, so at the very bare minimum from this knob. Uh, the only person who can put up with this is the Terminator, because he's got an invulnerable five save. But do we just take anybody just to try and save that Terminator? Do we try and live? Hmm. Hmm. Right, what we'll do is we're going to take this on the terminate, see if we can save on a five. Actually, no, it's insane to do that. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to take our licks on a normal veteran and leave a power fist to fight again. So, if you notice what I did on my pile in move, I moved a guy within an inch of this truck, which means. I've locked that truck in combat, it's now going to have to pull away from that combat, but it won't be able to shoot. So there's a bit of Death Watch trickery there. Anyone can do it, but it was the Death Watch today. Therefore, it's Death Watch trickery. So it's now time for morale checks for the Orcs. So they've lost two out of this squad. Uh, Mega Nobs have a leadership six. So what are they going to get? Two plus two is four. They're okay. Right, this unit of Orcs around the silo here, they took a bit of a piss and what are they going to get? Two plus how many died? Um, in that exchange? So this one, yeah, so five. Five? Yep. So that is a fail because orcs are only... Lose one. Yep, so they've lost one. Nice. Right, same situation for this orc boy unit, they lost one as well on their leadership. But they're still holding, that's all they need, they just need one guy to hang on and take that objective at the end of the game. So they are there. Death Watch have punched back in a big way. I think we've been discussing it. We think the Orcs and Nebbies uh, should not have went around the building there to give the Death Watch a window to try and put this fire out on this side. It's half worked. The Orcs. Oh, I think that bear in mind is that I've already got this objective and I would have to die to take that one. So, Well, yeah, that's the thing. The Orcs are playing the long game, but uh, they're going to have to put up with some ferocious fire with the Death Watch. Uh, so that was... That's what's happened. Ferocious firepower taking out a lot of orc units. The orcs just now have to hold on because they're holding all the objectives just about or they've got the means to. 
So was this the right idea for the war boss? We'll find out. Turn three for the Orcs now, and they're having to do a bit of damage control after that ferocious turn from the Death Watch. Uh, so this truck is still wrapped up in this combat, uh, but it's dis deposited its passengers over here. So the passengers no longer suffer the same rules as the truck. So they're free to do whatever they want now, now that they've disembarked. So I've been told they're going to shoot at the Death Watch down here, and then probably join the combat here, to try and fight them off this mega knob. Uh, copters, they're roughly staying in the same place. They're going to fire their missiles at whatever presents itself. And then this orc mob kind of decides what it wants to do. It starts to come around the corner again. And uh, they're trying to just keep an eye on these objectives. Because these flyers now in the backfield are just picking off all of the objective holders. So they're having to come back, stay strong, and take these objectives. So I believe that one unit can hold two objectives because it's just about having models on objectives to score them so having one unit one big unit string out across two objectives could possibly work so we're gonna have to have a, a look at that in further detail but that's what we're doing for now and Gretchen crew they're still hanging about looking for an objective uh, but it's all down to uh, this fight here this is where the action is right so the weird boy amongst the copters there he's gonna do his first psychic power of the game he's gonna do smite uh, the nearest visible target is this unit. doesn't matter if you're in combat or not. They are the nearest visible unit. So it needs a 5 to pass. And he passes on a 7. Eight. So, on an 8, not... Oh yes, it's an 8, because if he's within a certain distance of... What is it? 10 boys, he gets a plus 1 to his dice roll. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, so he's got an 8. Uh, the Death Watch Librarian is actually within 24. So he's going to get a chance to deny this. So he needs to roll... Ah, yeah. So, so, no, it's not good enough. So, that goes through. All right, so didn't deny that one. So, it's D3 mortal wounds on this unit. That's three. So, three go down, kicking and screaming. The brains explode. Oh, dear. All right, so there's the survivors. Still intact. Still got the power fist and the lightning claws. But that is nasty. Smite, what we've learned today, is nasty. Okay, so the Orcs are moving into the shooting phase now. So we've got three rockets here. Uh, these are advanced around the building, so they're going to take a minus one to their ballistic skills. So they need sixes for these rockets at this Death Watch squad. All right, sixes needed then. Sixes. There we go. <laughs> and there he's <laughs> missed. <laughs> right, we've got a big shooter coming in, going for these heavy bolters. So hit on fives. Actually, no, he's hit on sixes because they advanced around the corner. So two. there's two hits anyway. And threes to wound against the heavy bombers. Oh, just, just one wound, that's what you get for all the black dice. Uh, so saving on a two in cover. Oh, that's a cock die. We save. Good. On a five. Heavy bolters staying strong. Right, rockets at the big unit of Death Watch. We've got three copters at the Death Watch again. So it's six shots this time. Hitting on fives. Only one. So Ran out of steam a little bit, they've been shooting really well. But just one hit this time, wounding on a two. And it is a wound. So we're going to have to take this on a storm shield. We've got one, we've got two. So uh, let's, let's do this. And the save. We don't make those Death Watch storm shields really large for nothing. They actually work. Right, we've had the boys who dove out of the truck, they're piping up now. So they've shot already and they've wounded. Astonishing, seven wounds to be saved. So we're going to try and save these on the Terminators, because we're going to do that. We're going to try and benefit from our armour. 
So uh, Terminators have two wounds at a time, so that's cock die, but we save one. Save two. And again. Right, we're saving okay, last one. And we've saved. So Terminators somehow Just absorb. Just a mockery of the orc fire. <clears throat> Just absorb <laughs> all of that. Terminate armor means something these days. Good lads. That is the end of the shooting for the Orcs, so it's straight on the charges. Uh, the Def Coppers are actually going to charge the Corvus because they've got a couple of buzz swords that can hurt. Uh, they will have to suffer an overwatch first, so we've got two last cannons. Okay. No hits. Two Storm Strike missiles. No hits. And then it's time for the Hurricane Boulders. So 12 shots for these. Because <laughs> we are in rapid fire, so we can. I really take you to task here, just one more dice, too many dice these days, <clears throat> but not for this occasion, so six is it. nothing, out of all those shots, not one hit and blow, so they're going to, what is it, the charge range? Seven. Seven inch charge to get in, and that'll do, that'll do pig. And over here, the boys have gone into combat, and so is the warped. So they're all in there now. Combat's finally come to the battle on turn two. So the copters, they've got, all got buzz saws, so they can hurt this flyer. And orcs just got a sea of attacks coming the coming the death watchers way. So this is going to be dangerous. Okay, we've had more charges in this phase. We've had the uh, warped. He's gone into combat. And so of all the boys that were in this vicinity, they've now joined that big scrum down. So they've got a lot of attacks and these have got buzz swords, so they can hurt the Death Watch and they can hurt them very badly. Right, the weird boy, he is fighting first and he's done his attacks. He's got three attacks hitting on threes. He's strength seven, but he's only managed to do one wound to the Death Watch. It is D3 damage, so we don't know if we should chance it on the Terminator because he could die. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to chance it on the Terminator. He survives. No, no he doesn't. doesn't. He minus doesn't. One. It's minus one. So the Terminator will suffer D3 damage. So how much damage will he take? Just one. That's actually good. So he's taking, <laughs> <laughs> taking a little bit of stick, literally, but he's okay. So at this point, you've done one, uh, one charge and he's fought. So what we are going to do is play our stratagem counter offensive we're going to use our last two points our command points to fight next even if it's the charge oh phase. you sneaky person so sneaky death watch rules here all right so oh. well timed stratagem from the death watch here so we're going to do the lightning claws at this orc boy squad we're doing the power fist at the knob because we can't allow the knob to live so i've got five attacks in total with all the power fists and we are hitting on fours Again, just one hit, not good. Wound on two, we've wounded, and Mega Knob will save this on a five. Yep. It's gone through. Let's see how much damage we're gonna do. It's the full three, he's been taken out, so it was a good option putting all power fists on him. So he's died, and then the lightning claws, uh, White Scar here, he's going to attack the normal boys, he's got three attacks, hitting on threes, he's only hit once. Needing a four, he's got Shred. Nope, still don't do it. So no boy's dead, but we've killed the man that we were after. Now, we will suffer the consequences, but that was a well played uh, stratagem, I feel. Yeah, wish I, feel. I could remember stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we'll go with the big squad then okay. which we should have done in the first place so the big squad will pile in and attack a lot of attacks here we... right we've done the rolls for the orcs because there's a lot of attacks and it's been terrible for the orcs only three wounds out of, all, <laughs> out of all of those attacks only three wounds it's terrible we will have to take this on the terminator since he's took one wound so seven on two seven on two seven on two we've saved them all excellent orcs Full there. All right, so the orcs are going to try and do better on this one. Uh, the copters, there's two buzz saws in there on the N2, so they've got four attacks in total. They haven't got many attacks for orcs. And they're hitting on fours because a kill saw takes you down a peg. So uh, two hits so far, just two hits. These are strength eight. And so against toughness seven, leading threes. So there's 
two solid hits. This is AP minus four, so there's no save for the Black Star at all there, and it's a flat damage two. So the Corvus has taken four wounds to that exchange. Right, I've had the other attacks in this combat, so the unkill sorry copter, he has a go and just doesn't do it, doesn't do anything. And the Corvus hitting on sixes doesn't get any hits either, so that combat is over. Right, so that's the end of the York turn. Uh, faulted majorly in the centre here. Uh, pulled a fast one at Death Watch, uh, doing the knob in before he gets to strike. Uh, pretty proud of myself on that one. Pull. <laughs> <laughs> Should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> And that's it. I don't think the Orcs overall did the damage that they wanted to do. They didn't kill any of these Death Watch uh, guys here. Shot a lot at them, but those just the mixed saves really keep the big squads alive when you've got uh, the confidence to have two Terminators and two Storm Shields. You've got you can confidently take those saves, what I'm trying to say. Uh, other Death Watch units have had a hard time, but they're now starting to hold up. Turn three now for Death Watch, and things are looking brighter now. Uh, they've stretched out. We're going to get some shots at those boys, and we're still going to stay still with the heavy weapons. We're going to shoot those into those boys in the distance. We need to keep those humble. Uh, Artemis, he's advanced. He's going to try and get into the fight somehow, and the librarian's just on the move. He hasn't advanced. Uh, over here, more trickery. Because we've got a Vanguard veteran, the Death Watch. Uh, you consider the unit to have the fly word when you fall back so they've fallen out of the combat and they can shoot they can't charge but they can shoot and that's what they plan to do they've got the weapons to make that really nasty uh, the Corvus uh, is a, has the fly keyword it does the same it's moved on it's gone back into supersonic mode and uh, it's on its way it's going to fire its heavy weaponry back at the copters and the bolters at the orcs and this Corvus here is just moving on down here, still in supersonic mode. It's going to try and uh, take a chunk out of those orcs as well. All right, psychic phase. We're going to do the librarian. He's going to give the big Death Watch squad veil of time, so they can have uh, reroll charge ranges, and they can fight first in any combat. So that passes on a ten. That's good. And he's going to do smite as well. He can do two powers. He's going to do it on the truck. So that passes, and that's over 10, that's going to be D6 mortal wounds on this truck. Savage, there's four mortal wounds on the truck. Nice work. So four mortal wounds for the truck, and they did actually try to deny the witch with the uh, weird boy, but needing a double six obviously uh, was too hard of an ask and it didn't come off. Alright, so it's on to shooting phase, and uh, the librarian, he's going to shoot his ball pistol at this truck. He doesn't come with special ammunition ridiculously, but uh, he's hit once, needs a 5 on the truck, gets it. Truck will save on a plus 1 cover save behind that, uh, so he's going to save on a 3. And he still fills it, so there's its 5th wound. Right, we're going to fire all the small arms at the orc unit in the red trousers, up the uh, line of sight passage there. And then we're going to fire all of the heavy weapons at... <laughs> <laughs> at the boys there so we're firing hellfire rounds these are the ones that we're going to so hit on threes okay and we're on twos so that's five hits that is four wounds the orcs got to save on sixes what can they do four dead nasty it's like these alright now it's the assault cannons to speak up. They're going to target the uh, the, the slugger boys. So twelve shots here, and reroll ones because of Artemis, which is very handy. Okay, these hit. They did stay still, so we are hitting on three. So only two misses in total there. So that's pretty handy. Uh, we're wounding on threes against these orcs. So here we go to coin an orc for it. Alright, it's a lot of hits there, a lot of wounds. That's five, there's eight wounds there, so that's going to carve straight through the orc's squig hide armour. 
but they will get saves of six technically because the pain boy is in the mob so he's going to try and fix them up as uh, what is now or used to be known as female pain. So now you can see why I stood in cover. <laughs> one. Right there's only one save there so that is major casualties. Right heavy boulder steps up now for more shots. Uh, there's two hits wounding on threes against these guys. There's two more they're going to have to save on that uh, formerly feel no pain of six. Ah, one survives, but one does die. All stacks up for leadership, but that is still a strong unit of orcs. I think they'll be safe on the leadership test. Right, so we've basically shot everything. The two, well, not just about everything. We fired this Corvus Black Star, these bolters, and the Hurricane bolters from this Black Star at this orc unit here. They took horrendous casualties, 22 orcs dead. Uh, sad times to be over that. But even with 22 casualties, the war boss uh, will still keep them in line somewhat. Uh, we've still got a few more weapons to fire on the Corvus here. We've still got some last cannons which were dedicated to uh, this unit here. So we've got a twin last cannon hitting on fours. We only get one hit. That's cock die. So that's a wound, uh, it goes straight through the save and it's d6 damage. Only one damage, wow, came away light there. And we've got two uh, storm strike missiles hitting on fours, only one again. Wounding on a three, no good. All right, so that was, uh, that was lucky from them. But we did go past these Gretchen, so we're gonna do our cluster missiles as well. Oh, bomb clusters. There should be. There's ten grots there, so six is needed to cause mortal wounds. It's complete overkill on a grot. But purge the Xenos, That's what we say. So there we go. There's one grot dead, and then the trickery, the Death Watch, being able to pull out that combat. We're now going to fire at the Orc unit in red with the Flamer. We're going to throw a crack grenade at this unit of orcs here with the jump pack and we're going to fire this bolter at the orcs in red trousers as well so again the bolter is going to do hellfire rounds we've only got one hit wounds on a two there's a wound orc save on a six so there's another orc dropped uh well you should have took that but we'll see <laughs> right we'll call it a heavy <laughs> no, heavy heavy flamer how many shots Oh my word, six shots. This is just such a turnaround for the Death Watch here. All right, wounded on threes, and that is four orcs dead. That's the rest of them, so it didn't matter that I took one of your orcs there when I shouldn't have. All right, the frag grenade. We actually rolled a six to see how many shots we've got. It's just, just becoming criminal now. <laughs> so in on threes. Uh, right, we only missed once. And we're wounded on fives against us. There's only two boys left in that squad. Right, just one wound, saving on a six. And he fills. Right, so there's just two orcs left there. But it wasn't their squad who took target. And so they're, they're not even going to have to take a morale check here. They just watched all those orcs die and then counted their blessings. Uh, we can't charge with this unit because we did drop out of that combat even if we do have the jump pack we still can't assault so that is the end no actually no we're going to try and do a long charge with the librarian at this truck so you can overwatch with that big shooter so needing sixes no it's not the b uh the librarian he needs an 11 to get in no he's not getting in all right then so it's over to the orcs. I've got to do right, because they lost 22 orcs here and the morale is so low now uh, because of that. Their um, morale's low. <laughs> <laughs> their morale's low, the players is low. But uh, the orc war boss, he's got a really good rule. He can keep them in line. All he has to do is give them D3 mortal wounds. So it's just one mortal wound. He's kind. Right, so he dished out one mortal wound and the knob has already got a wound, so it would go on the knob and uh, we took him away but then we remembered the doc uh, can come to life and he's been working overtime 
and he's definitely experienced now with 22 casualties. He rolls a six, saves the knob from his own war boss. That uh, the pain boy has probably got more experience than any other pain boy, I think. Now, 22 boys he's had to fix up. He's on the wheel of a time. <laughs> Orcs turn four now, and they're going to try and salvage a desperate situation here. So the Orkney's boys, he's told them, get behind this wall, lads. That's the smart thing to do. Back to the wall. <laughs> so in, there they are. There's still three rockets in that squad, so they are still very potent, and they still can hit flyers. So on sixes, granted, but uh, it's not too far away from what the Orcs need anyway. Uh, more Gretchen around here, more Orcs here. They, they have got bodies left. Uh, to take these objectives, and that's what counts. Uh, the Death Couplers, they're screaming after the Black Star. Uh, they really want their prey. He's already got four wounds on him. You have to got more work cut out for them to do some damage. If you're wondering, again, why they're not shooting the missiles at the Corvus, it's because uh, they hit on fives, you're at a minus one because you're hitting a flyer, and then you're at a further minus one because they've got a Infirm Halo launcher on the top. So, uh, it's, it's not what th we thought it was going to be, <laughs> but... Uh, it's just one of those things. Uh, weird boy and the boys turn around. Uh, the weird boy's got smite up his sleeve. He's ready to play that one. Devastating the last time. If he does it again, then that's going to be everyone dead in that unit. Uh, this truck, it looks like he's just going to do the last thing with his life and just plow into this line of death watch. He just couldn't help himself. He thinks this is just going to be great all the way down <laughs> the line. Right, the weird boy... He's tried smite and he's rolled the double ones, apparels. He's not feeling the, the, the boys at the moment. He's going to re-roll one of those ones with the stratagem, luckily. Uh, so if he rolls another one, it's catastrophic. No. So he's got a five. He has passed for uh, the smite power, but we are in 24 with our Tiger, so we will try and deny that. We need a six to stop this. And we do, so he stopped smite in the track. So that's the first successful uh, perils, not perils, uh, Deny the witch that we've ever had. You can't see the confetti on the camera. <laughs> right, so these orcs have chimed in with the guns now. They've got one hit, one wound. So the Terminator has to take it because he's already wounded. And the Terminator dies. That is really good work from the orcs there. Shot. I'm going to be happy with that, those orcs. You can see the grin on the face. Right, this Death Watch squad may have overstayed the welcome. It's now for time for six rockets at the Death Watch. Hitting on fives. There's one hit. Still could be enough. What's he gonna do? Wounds on two. That is a wound. No save to be had there, so we're gonna lose somebody. Is it gonna be the black shield or the lightning claws? Well, out of respect, we're gonna keep the black shield. Right, so we're into the centre of the battlefield here. These shooters of uh, shooting at the death watch here, and the big shooter's gonna shoot at the heavy bolters. Uh, the shooters have already shot. And they've hit twice, wounded twice. So we're going to take these on the Terminators because they've got the 2 plus save. And they just absorb that. No bother. So, so big shooter. Big shooter over there. Yep. So they have the bolters. There's one hit. Wounded on a 3. Okay, that's a 3. Uh, saving on a 2 because we're still in that bolstered cover. Saves. So Space Marine armor in cover is nails. Right, over here the Orcs have got a trick up the sleeve. Three rockets at this Corvus Black Star. So needing sixes to hit because it's supersonic. No hits. The boss has got a shooter he's going to try and contribute again hitting on sixes. He's got a hit. He needs a five. And he gets a five. Seven on a three. Oh, we'll take a well wound. boss. <laughs> the boss out of spite clips a wound. Now that may be crucial because uh, we've only got seven left now and these coppers are ready to come in for the charge because they have got the fly keyword they can assault flyers alright so going straight on to assault phases the coppers are going into the black star so we'll do our overwatch so last cannons we get one hit with the last cannon wounds on a three does not wound 
uh, missiles, double one, and then we've got hurricane bolters. Right, we've got the hurricane bolters hitting on sixes, just two hits. Uh, these are toughness five, name five. No, so they get through that withering overwatch. And so, what's their charge going to be? So it's four to there. Right, okay, off you go then. So that's in on a six, so they're well in. Get another crack at the Corvus. Threes, yeah. Right, so the assaults have gone in here, uh, no damage on the Overwatch, and the Weird Boy will attack first. He's got three attacks hitting threes. There's two, and he's wounded on threes at strength seven. There's two solid hits. This is minus one AP, so seven on fours with the Black Shield, and his legend finally ends. So the the warp, uh, the warp head, he's doing well. Uh, over here, we've already done the charge with the truck, and then we're piled in. Uh, truck doesn't do any damage, and the Death Watch managed to strip this down to just one wound left. So it's still surviving. Uh, so we'll have to see what becomes of that. But now we've got the assault here on the Black Star. The copters have gone in. Going to try one more time to bring this down. Right, we've got uh, two kill swords. Uh, they've got two attacks each. They normally hit on threes, but because they're unwieldy, uh, they're hitting on fours. Mm. So there's three solid hits. So strength eight, needing threes to convert these into wounds. And there's three conversions. So these are just two uh, damage each. So that's going to be six. What well, on our last hull point with this Corvus? Right, down to our last wound and the unarmed death copter guy, he has put a wound on us. We're going to have to save this on a three or else we're going down. We survived, so we've got one hull point left and we are smoking. Okay, Death Watch turn four now. It's coming crucial. We've got a damaged flyer in the air. And he's uh, escaped from those coppers for now. His ballistic skill is so bad. Now he's moving with heavy weapons. It's not going to be uh, much to rely on. Uh, the Death Watch big squad with the bikes and the jump packs. We're able to leave this combat with no, uh, no penalty. We're going to just act as normal. So we can shoot and charge if we want to. And Artemis and the Librarian have gone this way. We're going to try and tackle this warped once and for all. And the Corvus that was over here has flown over this unit and landed here. We're still, well, we're actually in hover mode now. We're no longer supersonic. It's just so we can try and deal with these copters because they are a fast unit. I want to try and take out those speedy units. Now the game is winding down. Uh, don't want them to jump on any objectives like they can. Right, we're entering to psychic phase. We're going to do um, Veil of Time on Artemis, which means he can reroll charge ranges and he always fights first. And uh, that was a confirm. So that comes off on an 8, that's good. We're also going to do Smite at the Weird Boy, because we've made sure he is the nearest. So that comes off on an 8, he has to deny that on a 9 if he can. And he does, denied. Both have had a turn of denying each other, going toe to toe in the psychic plane. Right, we're going to open up the shooting phase with the Corvus. It's done a bombing run on this uh, unit here, so there's 4 in that unit. Any 6s are mortal wounds but no sixes come through the four. So we're going to do the hurricane bolters at the copters. So we're just getting 12 dice here. We are in rapid fire range, we can make it so. So we're hitting on threes. So that is okay. And five to wound. These are toughness five, just little menaces. Just two, and you save on four. Let's see if they can do it. Hang around. No, it's two wounds. So he is on his last wound now. And uh, now we've got the assault cannons to shoot. So, 12 shots again. Hitting on fours this time. And again, that's a half decent roll. It's about average. It is average. Three to wound. There's three wounds. So this time, seven on five. So only one. So one's died and a wound on another. So we've still got one more shot, uh, one more 
play with this we've got the Corvus Blackstar missile launchers at the flyers. Right so before we're going to fire the, the Blackstar launchers I'm actually going to re-roll one of those dice rolls uh, for the saves so you can get that five. No so everything still stands. Right so with the Blackstar launchers we're going to fire the strength six and the air ones so these have got the fly rule which means we've got a plus one to hit uh, but we've got a minus one to hit because we've moved with the heavy weapon so about where we started hitting on threes. So we get D, 2d6 shots out of these so it's six this time and hitting on threes so it's three hits it's strength six so we're wounding on threes again so it's two wounds and uh, I think this has AP minus one so it is AP minus one so seven fives and there's two wounds so this copter is on his last wound now so that's all from the black star Right, the damaged Corvus in the distance, he's going to fire his bolt guns at them. Uh, he's down a ballistic skill 5 now, so he's needing 5s, but he's retaliated in a spectacular way. Need that again, needing 5. So there's 2 wounds, saving on 4s. That saves them both, but we've got uh, Black Star, no sorry, we've got Storm Strike Missiles. These are hitting on a 6 because they're heavy weapons and we're down a ballistic skill 5. We've missed. Uh, the last cannon, same thing. No, last cannons missed. That's been uh, not very good with its last cannons this game, but I uh, won't forgive it. Right, we're going to do these heavy bolters, triple heavy bolters, at this squad just in front of the uh, ammo dump there. Threes to hit. Okay, three misses. Not too bad. And threes to wound. Actually, it's just threes to kill with a minus AP1. So there's five wounds. That's the squad wiped out. Right, we're going to fire this conga line, now that those orcs are dispatched, they're all going to fire at the, uh, the death coppers. So we've got assault cannons, uh, ball guns, they'll be firing the uh, hellfire round, wound on twos. It should be good, we should get rid of them this time. We've got a heavy bolter at the bat as well. Right, I've done all the shots here and it was just far too much for the coppers to stand. It's the, uh, the vengeance, not the vengeance round, the hellfire rounds, wound on twos, they've been the stars of this game. It's really punishing those copters at every chance they got. Right over here, the final shots. We fired a bolt pistol from the Librarian at the Weird Boy. No damage. Uh, Artemis, he's going to fire the Hellfire rounds at the two Orcs here. He's going to rapid fire. Hitting on twos. There's two hits. Wounding on twos. There's two wounds. Orcs saving on sixes here. Could this just see them off? No one survives. Tricky. Tricky Orcs. Okay, so straight into charges now. Artemis will charge. It's a 10 inch charge, uh, but you'll only need to roll a 9 because uh, you only have to get within an inch these days. So, uh, a 9 all that's needed. He can re roll it because of the psychic power that we played. So get in there, son. No, nope. it's only 6. Try again. He can do it. Purge Xenos. Yes! <laughs> oh, Suffer not the alien to live. In he goes on a double 6. Right, so this Death Watch squad also charges this truck. We've killed it, just stone dead. Will it explode on a six? Please. No, <laughs> couldn't be any further. Right, Artemis, he's going to fight. So he's got four attacks, hitting on twos. So he's hit them all. Now he's wounding on fours. Not a one. <laughs> he's done nothing to the weird boy. Right, the weird boy, he will fight now. He's got three attacks, hitting on threes. He's hit them all. Right, so he's wounded on threes now. He's got a high strength with that staff. And he's wounded twice. So the AP of his staff minus one. is minus one. So seven on fours. Oh, Phil two, this is not good, Artemis. But Artemis has a... He ignores wounds on a six plus. Like he's the, a hero. Like the pain boy. So come on, don't go out like this. No, we'd get none. So Artemis runs into that combat full of gusto and then forgets to even stab him. <laughs> all right, Artemis might have got this all wrong because it's not just one damage that the staff does, it's D3. So we have to roll D, 2D3, see how much damage. Oh, four. So I've got to do an extra two saves on the six. No, he's filled them all. <laughs> oh, he's crap. He's crap. <laughs> 
It's a weird boy. He's got it? one wound left, Artemis, and he's looking like a mug. He's spinning up. Right, so Orcs in turn five. five. So this is the final turn of the game. So scrambling for objectives now. Uh, the Warlord, he's there and so is the remaining boys with the rockets they've strung out all the way across here so is the pain boy he ran and the grots have got up under this cover trying to claim this objective as well and then of course we've got stupid artemis he's in the fight of his life here it's the psychic phase now the warp boy he's gonna do smite right in his face so he needs to pass this on a five this is horrible this is so critical. So he's passed on a six. We've got one chance to deny this with the librarian. He needs to roll a seven. It's average. Can he do it? Can he save his. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to re roll that one. You're going to re roll the one? Indeed. Okay, he's going to use a stratagem, re roll that one. Let's hope it's another one. Can we only get better than a one? <laughs> oh, alright. It's nothing short of a double six is going to save Artemis here. He did it to charge in. Can he do it to save the Warlord? I'll have it just cost myself the game. Nope, that doesn't come off, so it's going to be D3 Mortal Wounds going Artemis' way. And this is pretty much his death here. So one Mortal Wound, he's only on his last <laughs> wound. If I don't save this on his sixth save, then Artemis is dead and it's cost us D3 victory points, which could end up being the game. Wounder. So let's roll a six Artemis, please. Nope, he's dead. That's a Warlord kill. That's D3 victory points for the Orcs in this mission. In the crater? Yep. So it's two points for the Orcs. Uh, that's just such bad news. There's no reason to do that with Artemis. He just got so full of himself and ran out into certain death. Who knew? Hubris. <laughs> who knew that a weird boy could just handle a captain it's like that? Spinning up. psychedelic eye that did it. Put him off his stroke. If you say so. <laughs> Alright, the orcs have shot, very minimal. Uh, this orc boy shoots at the librarian, doesn't, uh, well, he gets one hit, one wound, but we'll save it. And over here, everyone ran, so shots were very minimal because these are assault weapons hitting on sixes. Uh, shot the flyer, didn't hit, and shot a couple of the heavy bolters, again, didn't hit. So this orc is charging in now. We've already done our overwatch, we've missed, and he needs to charge in. What's he gonna get? So it's a six, six that's no need, good. You need an eight. Uh, Orcs can re-roll that. So no, he's not going anywhere. So that is the end of the Orcs turn, and that's the end of the game for the Orcs. Can the Death Watch pull something out here? With the death of the Warlord, we're already two points behind, which is absolutely insane why we did that. Uh, but we're going to have to pull out something special just to even draw this game now. Right, we've moved with the Death Watch. This Corvus has come over here. It's securing this objective. It's one model taking that objective. So we've got that one. The Librarian's moved over here. He's got this one. Normally we wouldn't do this, but since the game we know has ended on turn five, we can be a bit bold. Uh, so he's taken that one. We've got the Death Watch. They're coming across here to try and claim this one. We just need to kill a few grots and we'll claim that one. And the Corvus goes into hover mode gets right in the Warlord's face. We're going to try and take out the Warlord and even the score that way. Now we're going to have heavy bolters. They're going to fire at the uh, guys with the rockets, try and blow them away. Right, so we'll start off with the psychic phase. We did smite at this orc, double one perils and suffered one mortal wound. So not good. We're not doing that again. Uh, so we had the heavy bolters next. They peppered the orcs that were here that unit is gone now it's just the warlord on that objective and if they fly it and kill him that means we'll hold that uh, this is now going to take shots at the pain boy so because we're seriously wounded where well, our ballistic skill is now five and we've moved with heavy weapons so that means we're now hitting on sixes so he's the nearest so we're hitting on sixes with two large cannons we've missed and sixes with two storm strike missiles we've hit one Wounds on a two, there's a wound, and it causes three damage. So he needs to 
what's that? See? Alright, so the pain boy takes just a stiff three damage from those missiles. Uh, doesn't get any of his pain boy rolls on that six. Uh, so he's on his last wound, we're gonna try and finish him off with these bolters here. Long range, hitting on five. Got one hit, needing a four. We've wounded him. What's his save? Is it a four or a six? Six. It's a six. He's gonna to have to save on a six, and if he doesn't get that, he's got his uh, he can try and mend himself on a six. Okay, he doesn't even need to, he just rolls a six. So he's hanging on. This stubborn pain boy. Right, I've had this long line of Death Watch just annihilated the Grots as you would expect. Can't allow Grots to live and think they're going to win the game. So they're gone. There's just the pain boy left and we're outnumbering them on that objective. Therefore, the Death Watch hold that one. And the last thing to do is this Corvus opening fire on the war boss. So we're going to open up with the Assault Cannon first. Again, we're hitting on fours, but that looks like a half decent roll. Looks like the average. And we wound him a war boss on a three. He is toughness five, but against strength six, he's gonna have to do better. So there's five wounds. War boss saves on fives because he comes with hard armor. So what's that? He's suffered three wounds. three wounds. He's still got three left. Uh, we're gonna do the hurricane bolt is at him now. He might even survive this because Hurricane Butlers have to wound him on a five. Let's do this here. No, oh, one wound from the Hurricane Butlers. He's got to save on a four. No. Nope. And he fails that one. He's got two wounds left. So it's got to be down to the rocket launchers. Uh, it's the strength four version. So we're getting nine shots. So it sounds good, but we are hitting on fours and the only strength four. But that was a good roll, I must admit. Right, fives to wound. This is crucial, he's only on two wounds left. Three wounds. It's got to save on fours because it has no AP. Three wounds, you must save two. And that's what we needed. He's dead. War boss goes down. That's three victory points for the Death Watch. We've retaliated with our own warlord still. T3. But we only get one. So one point for that warlord. There's just the pain boy left on the objectives over here. And these two are out of range of an objective. So that is the end of the game, the end of turn five. So the Death Watch are controlling this objective because we are within three. The orcs aren't, so that's uncontested and in favour of the Death Watch. So it's two points there, uh, two points because of this ammo dump, we are controlling it, we've got more people on it than the pain boy, it's crucial that we wiped out those grots so they're gone. So it's another two, uh, we've got two for this one because the Corvus is handling this one, and then the war boss going down has freed up that one for the Corvus, so we're controlling all objectives, two points each, so there's eight points, nine for the warlord and the orcs two. claim two for killing Artemis, so I think the orcs definitely... Uh, got their man there, that's embarrassing for Artemis, but the Death Watch pulling through uh, It was looking grim for a moment and then they just fought back really well So the Death Watch a lot better than they used to be and I think with the Orcs It's just going to be one of those things where you need to play with them a little bit uh, a few mistakes were admittedly made with the Orcs But it's just one of those things new rules It's bound to be some teething issues Yeah